Hi, uh, this is a video which I am submitting for Bits Pilani Postman API Hackathon and uh, the title of my project is Building an End-to-End -end Bird Detection System A Journey from Model Development to Deployment on Google Cloud with Flask, MongoDB and API Testing using Postman Now all of these things have been done on free credits and anyone can uh, go and uh, like you know replicate this project without putting any money so just a little bit talking about the problem statement and motivation that <clears throat> bird watching which is oftenly seen as a passive hobby uh, can become an active means of conservation so by knowing more about birds their species habitats and migratory patterns we can contribute to data that helps in scientific research and conservation efforts so this is one of the problem domains which uh, was highlighted in the hackathon about animals where in the the projects in this track would aim to help animal welfare. So this is under that domain. And uh, yeah, so quickly walking through over all the major steps before seeing the uh, final outcome. So first we talk about setting a Google Cloud Compute Engine and requesting GPU access for training the model. Then we develop the ML model. So for this, I have referred to the paper by uh, S. Nawaz called Are These Birds Similar? Learning Branch Networks or Fine Grained Representations. So you can go through this for since this video is going to be short. So you can go over through this uh, article for more information. We are fusing basically the image information and the textual information. And uh, that's how we are doing the fine grained uh, classification. And then what we do next is uh, we deploy the ML model with Flask. So this is the code for the backend written on Flask. We're using MongoDB server, which will come later down also. And uh, here we're creating routes and API testing with Postman. So all the routes which you've created above, we are testing them. So the documentation for this is available on this link. So you can see we have defined almost nine major APIs, which we're exposing. So right from getting home page to image uploading, that all we'll see when we see the demonstration. So feel free to go over this. Then uh, whatever data we are storing or accessing, whatever classifications we are doing, uh, we're using a MongoDB server, which is running on the same uh, server as our Google Cloud Computing uh, Compute Engine. So no need of like, you know, very intensive integration. It, or integrates very easily just by using these three lines of code. And this is how our front end looks like. We upload the image and any image which you pick, you will be able to, uh, the model will be able to classify it. And using the eBirds API, you know, eBird is a project maintained by Cornell University where uh, they have multiple APIs exposed to help uh, spot the last location. So we are accessing those APIs to get the last uh, spotted location. And uh, using Google uh, Maps heat map API, we use the bring this map. And then uh, we are actually calling the eBirds API for getting more information. We're displaying their page for getting the scientific name and uh, how the male, the female, and babies of the bird looks like of the species. So yeah, let's go over to the video demonstration. So this is how the front end looks like. Uh, I've deployed it to a custom domain, ellens.me, which is pointing to the public address of my uh, Google Cloud computer. <clears throat> so let's see a uh, few things in action. First of all, before classifying the bird, uh, we have very less information of what all birds exist. So here, if you go to the uh, bird classes, it will show you all the classes which I've defined for the images and the data set has been picked up from that paper itself. Here we have our uh, MongoDB backend where all this birds classes are stored and information about them is stored and uh, what was their last cited location. So this is how uh, we are populating this table. Then we have a feature on adding the bird, which I'll go over later, that if we find a new bird, then we can add them to the class and can possibly extend the machine learning model to uh, look up for the new bird or add a new class. Uh, debug route is just for 
my debugging purpose so we can ignore that so let's um, actually choose a bird let's search for some blue bird so you can see that the dynamic searching is enabled on this so yeah uh, i mean let's uh, let's download some bird image so if i search for blue blue cross back then if i go to the images and pick up any image of this this image i have chosen as part of the training data set so therefore i'll choose another image for the classification let me let's let's try this one i have not used this one uh, the model has not seen this before so save image as and i'm going to save it in the downloads folder so i come back here and go to my home page and all along you can see all these uh, calls being made to the back end and whenever we are calling something so i can click on choose file and this is the image which i have just downloaded so as soon as i click on upload and classify so an image your link is generated and you can see that it is figured out blue cross beak uh, from it this is this thing is it has predicted and my uh, like nowhere information i have passed it only the image i have uploaded along with that it is telling me what is the class number what is the species name in my uh, address and what is the species code which has been assigned by ebird which is a standard organization along with that this is the url for the species uh, the more information and this is the image of the uh, file which i have uploaded the url of the file which i have uploaded and i'm using image ur api uh, which you can test out here on the which you can test out uh, here so um, this takes in a client id as for authorization and uh, in the body you can pick up uh, you can select any file so let's do it for the same file which i've downloaded uh, just downloaded if i click on send so it uses uh, image yours api to actually obtain the link now if i click on this link so this is the link of the file which i have uploaded similarly you can explore different apis the link for that has been given for how we predict so if i pass in the url of uh, this this new image which we have just now uh, new url which you have just got so so you can see that uh, it had made a call and uh, this is what my machine learning model has returned along with that uh, the last spotted location is used and google maps api you can see the three points it has highlighted and marked then uh, for any bird this uh, external information from ebirds is pulled and you can see the scientific name and if you click here it will take you to the external web page uh, where you can hear the chirping sounds of the bird and what are all the distribution patterns of of this bird so all the information you can uh, find out here along with photos audios and the range map where uh, this bird is located for this bird i okay here in the united states you can see so this is my project feel free to explore more and uh, one last feature in the interest of time i'll uh, maybe skip it but let me just try to do it quickly so if i type a number and uh, let's give species a name and uh, what is on this url let me just check Okay, so we'll use this URL. Uh, it has I've already uploaded one photo of mine. So um, and location we can put. So if we submit it and we go to the last page, 
we'll see that uh, a post request has been made to the uh, to the database and we can even see this coming in our mongodb's uh, so you see that not the last entry which we have will be of this new uh, thing which we have added so our machine learning model that functionality the future scope of this project can be that uh, whatever new words we put the machine learning model starts uh, understanding those classes as well and uh, does the online training so that is it for my submission uh, thank you for your uh, time